I'm Tim Poindexter. My presentation is on a world fashion centerpiece, an American cultural icon, the mustache. I'm wearing one right now. And I uh, notice some of you guys are too. If you have a fake mustache, go ahead and put it on. All right, let's evaluate the room's exposure to mustaches. If you have an uncle with a mustache, raise your hand. Look at that. All right, mustaches and uncles go hand in hand. The uh, original mustache was a Scythian horseman from 300 BC. So the mustache has been around for uh, well over 2,000 years. Let's take a moment of silence uh, in honor of that. It's pretty good. Well, as history progressed, the place of the mustache in civilization progressed as well. Uh, mustaches were the badge of military men. The number of nations and regiments were equaled only by the number of styles and variations of the mustaches. And even women have gotten in on the mustache phenomenon. Okay? Frida Kahlo painted a famous self-portrait depicting her with the unibrow and a mustache. And uh, Tyra Banks, I don't know if you can see very well, but she actually has a little bit of a mustache there herself. The uh, mustache actually experienced its stylistic zenith in the 19th century when it became the very symbol of true manhood. If you didn't have a mustache, you were worthless to society. <laughs> okay, well, before going on, let's pause and just feast our eyes on some famous men throughout history uh, who have walked through life with the stash. It's beautiful, beautiful, breathtaking, actually, I think. <clears throat> All right, well, who actually wears mustaches today? Besides uncles, Family Guy says firemen, Italians, and policemen are all basically mustachioed. But apparently gay men are not capable of growing mustaches. Um, but I'm telling you, if you didn't know it already, the mustache is actually coming back in style. Does that mean it's actually cool to wear a stash now? Yes. No. <laughs> if you're not being fervently ironic, and you're not a fireman or a policeman, you shouldn't be wearing a stash. Really, stashes fall into two categories, ironic or serious. You're either a pretentious bastard or you're from West Virginia. There's no other option. Now, two common mustaches you may have seen uh, are the crustache and the molestache. Oh wait, I already read that. Anyway, never mind. Vernacular, I like the battle mustache. It's my favorite. Okay, crustache and the molestache. Uh, what's the difference? Can you, what's the difference? Anybody know? Age. Okay. <laughs> Today's crustache is tomorrow's molestache. <laughs> okay, so there's actually a month devoted to mustaches. It's called Movember. It's an annual charity event. Uh, men grow mustaches for money, which they give to charity at the end of the month. If you start now, come November, you'll have a kick-ass stash. So I encourage everybody to go for that. So what do women think about mustaches? That's what, you're, that's what all the men are th asking themselves. Um, do women like them? And the answer is no. When I've worn a mustache in public places, I felt like women were staring at me like I was going to abduct their kid or start spitting tobacco juice on the floor. OK? Um, they're not sexy. If you want to know the categories, here they are, natural, Hungarian. There's a lot of room for upper lip innovation. Um, so take note if, if that's something that interests you. Um, a few final facts. There is an American Mustache Institute. I'm not a member. Um, they're very serious about the mustache. If you join, you'll be mocked. Uh, in the serious mustache competitions, the mustache is shown as a symbol of male virility. And the winner is seen as the manliest person there. If you have a butter, better mustache than me, go ahead and stand up right now. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. All right, all right. We'll fight it out for who's the manliest man in the house after, afterwards. All right. One of the most famous serious mustache contests was held in 1972 by the Oakland A's. Owner Charlie Finley held the contest with the entire team. They actually made it to the World Series, and the media dubbed the competition the Hares versus the Squares. So, do you have what it takes to wear a mustache? Are you man or woman enough for the challenge? I dare you to grow a stash. Do it for a month, and it might turn into a lifelong passion. God help you if it does. Well, you've survived this barrage of random stash facts. 
I'll conclude with something my brother Matt said that sums up how I feel about the stash. A mustache is the closest thing you can get to wearing a joke on your face. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>